Well, the way to my heart is a good home-cooked meal, and I love sweets. May Pike is trying to steal my heart this morning with <laughs> this cranberry apple crisp recipe. Oh, this sounds so good. Good morning to you, May. Good morning to you, Sally. This is a really, really great recipe. Um, people all the time are asking me, how do you make uh, healthy desserts? Mm -hmm. And that's a really good question. Um, it's close to impossible, but we've actually managed to do this. Uh, the apple crisp is also great for breakfast with a little yogurt. So, I like it. Yeah. I like it, May. This is really nice. So we've added some cranberries for the season. Mm -hmm. um, and speaking of the Thanksgiving season, we are doing a really nice um, Thanksgiving dinner with home cuisine where you call in. It's a healthier version of all the classics. And we deliver it right to your house that Wednesday, and you just heat it up on Thursday and feed your family. That sounds good. Wonderful. All right, let's get started on so this we've uh, got, cranberry apple crisp. Here we've got some... Uh, uh, Granny Smith apples. Mm -hmm. I like a tart crisp apple for this. If you like it a little bit sweeter, um, uh, red apples are just fine. Gotcha. Okay, so we'll get you going with this. Um, these are the fresh apples that we have cored and peeled and sliced. Um, and then we're going to add a little bit of fresh cranberry. Now, you can use frozen fruit for this, and yeah, it's a-okay. Yeah, we okay. use frozen fruit. I prefer the, the, uh, the, fresh the fresh stuff. stuff. Yeah, I, I like it fresh too, but if you're in a pinch and you need to just see, serve something healthy, that's a great way to do it. Let's add a little cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. You want to just go ahead and mix that up. Yes. Now, I put water in. Why do you do that? Um, because the apples tend to soak, um, soak everything up. Okay. So you don't want things to dry out when you bake it, which is pretty easy to do um, if you don't add a lot of liquid. It's all about the consist consistency. That's right. So this is um, brown sugar Splenda, uh -huh. which is a sugar substitute. Can you really um, taste the difference? I personally cannot. Um, I really can't either. No, I really can't. And this is a great product. It doesn't have that sort of uh, fake sugar aftertaste that mm -hmm. a lot of them do. Um, so this one's really nice. But if you have another brand that you like, I like that the, the Splenda comes with the brown sugar. Gotcha. What else do we have, mate? Let's see. Then we have a little bit of almond extract. All right. Now, if you like almond extract, this is great. If you don't, you could always use vanilla. Um, you could use maple. Anything that you like with this, with this um, apple mixture. All right. What are okay. our other two? Well, this is what here. we're going to make the topping with. So, if you want to go ahead and put your filling into this um, dish, okay. And you can see really how easy this is. Very easy. Very easy. And very and good. You're doing a great job. So we top it off with. So now we're going to make the. Um, topping. So, let's see, I've got you in the way here. So this is, um, oh, whoa, whoa, we're going to put it, I'm sorry, we're going to oh, put it into in the bowl. This uh -huh. So we got to mix that one up a little bit. So this is um, old-fashioned oats mm -hmm. that we actually just put through the uh, food processor. Gotcha. You can use the whole oats, uh, you don't have to do that. I do that because you can trick little kids into eating them. There you and go. And they think it's a cobbler. This is uh, brown sugar, or I'm sorry, uh, whole wheat flour. Whole wheat flour, a yes, little sir. bit of butter. Throw but the butter is... in there. We'll mix it all up. All right, for this recipe, go to our website, WDRB.com. That's where you will find that and uh, more information on home cuisine with May Pike. If you don't feel like cooking for Thanksgiving, hey, we have information on our website to where you can uh, contact them and they will cook that meal for you. May, thank you so very much. Thanks this for having me. Wonderful. It's been great.